we want to simplify the given expressions. And we'll take a look at two ways of doing this. Looking at the first expression, notice how the fraction inside the parentheses is being raised to the third power. So we could just expand this and write this as three x squared divided by four times three x squared divided by four times three x squared divided by four. And now multiplying in the numerator, three times three times three is 27. And x to the second times x to the second times x to the second is equal to x raised to the power of two plus two plus two. In the denominator we have four times four times four which is 64. The expression simplifies to 27 x to the sixth all divided by 64. Another way to simplify the original expression would be to use the exponent property shown here where we have powers raised to powers. So going back to the original expression, we have the cube of three x squared divided by four where the three is raised to the first power and the four is also raised to the first power. And because we have powers raised to powers here, we multiply the exponents which gives us three raised to the power of one times three x raised to the power of two times three divided by four raised to the power of one times three. Simplifying, we have three cubed x to the sixth divided by four cubed and three cubed is 27 and four cubed is 64 giving us the same result of 27 x to the sixth divided by 64. And of course we get the same simplified expression using either method. Looking at the second expression, notice how the fraction inside the parentheses is being squared. Expanding, we can write this as negative two x cubed divided by three times negative two x cubed divided by three. Multiplying, negative two times negative two is positive four. X to the third times X to the third is equal to X raised to the power of three plus three. In the denominator we have three times three which is nine. The expression simplifies to four X to the sixth divided by nine. Or we can also simplify this using the power to power property. Going back to the original expression, we have the square of negative two X to the third divided by three where the negative two is really raised to the first power and the three in the denominator is also raised to the first power. From here, because we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. In the numerator we have negative two raised to the power of one times two, x raised to the power of three times two, all divided by three raised to the power of one times two. Simplifying, we have the square of negative two x to the sixth all over three squared. Well, the square of negative two is four and the square of three is nine giving us four x to the sixth divided by nine. Again, both methods give us the same simplified expression. I hope you found this helpful.